Good morning, everyone. It's Sherry from She Be Stitching World. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. Today is the house detour for Halloween decorations. I've had our house decorated inside since about a day or two after Labor Day. So I thought I'd go ahead and do the video and walk you through the house of our decorations. As you will see, it's probably a good 90-95% cross stitch. I love to stitch my Halloween cross stitch. Uh, ignore the mess in the house. I tried to straighten up a little bit. We have a junk room. I've decorated all the walls in there. Uh, I usually start by the back door. This is by the back door that leads to the basement. I decorated the shelf that we bought years ago. And as you can see, it's got a heart. We have a heart theme going. Uh, any of the fabrics that you see, most of them, 99.9% .9 of them were dyed by me. Tuck pillow that I made, I have to straighten that out. And then we have the tiny town. Look at how cute the tiny town is. Then as we go and scroll past the back door, let's see if I can get a full shot of this. There's my wall hanging, my owl. Love how this turned out. I put on the, wall, the owl ribbon to give it a special touch and then just I stained or painted the dowel rod and then just hung it out. So yeah, so that usually goes in the hall. Go lay down, Mocha. Look out, I'm gonna step on ya. I'm gonna step on ya. Okay, this is a new hanging in the kitchen. Nightmare before coffee. So I stuck it by the wall by the cabinet, never had anything hang here before. So there's that. And let's go over to the main wall in the kitchen. Love stitching houses and when they go together like this, all together on one project. Painted the wood frame, then I spray glazed it. Then I just added, I used some kind of a stencil around the border and used silver paint. And then I added some flowers. Then we have a pillow that I had left over. I didn't know where to put it. I ran out of room. So there's my blue pillow, X's and O's, dragons. Then we have our shelf, hearts. And then my October towel. And then we have that. And then we have Hocus Pocus. I need coffee to focus. I'm not a coffee drinker, I'm a tea drinker, but I love these kind of patterns. This is from one of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazines. Okay, then we will now eventually, okay, let's go down the hallway. I'll try to go slowly. I know I've been told I go too fast. This is my hodgepodge wall. I just hang whatever I want to hang, wherever I want to hang. <laughs> this is a Stony Creek Happy Halloween. Made it into a banner. And I painted the doll rod and then I added the ends, the end caps. This is something new that I added this year. I just stuck one of these little plastic hangers and can take it off if it doesn't have anything to hang for Christmas. And then I think that is from a Just Cross the Halloween magazine. Then we have Midnight Way. I painted and then I added the purple glitter paint, added the border. I thought that turned out really cute, everything matches. Then we have the Witchy Boutique. Then we have Welcome to Our Pumpkin Patch. And that I think is also Stony Creek and that was stitched way back in September of 1996. Wow, I think I started stitching in between 92 and 94. And here's another wall hanging that I did, a banner. And that is also by Stony Creek. It's called Welcome. My favorite wall is, let's see if we can get the whole wall as we look down the hallway. I try to do different finishings. You know, I practice. I just throw things together. Here's a Halloween. Uh, I think that is also Stony Creek. And we have Mr. Scarecrow. I framed this myself, dyed the fabric myself. All the fabrics that you see were dyed by me. And I say, oh, I say, but yeah. I love him. Uh, he used to hang in the kitchen until I got that shelf with the heart. Love how this one turned out, trick or treat. Love the colors the way I painted. And these almost look like lights, but they're just like little beads that I glued on the wood. And then we have the owl. It's hard to get these when you're in a hallway and you can't really go as far back. Loved how that one turned out. Then, 
Here is a, sorry for my fingers, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's the most wonderful fright of the year. That's a Sue Hillis painted and I added fabric to a board, put that on and then I added her piece. And then at the end of the haul, I added this piece last year. Everybody was buying these. Uh, Joint Fabrics had a lot of them this year. I only have the one, it is heavy. It is hard to back away. So then we go into the junk room. I'll try not to let you see the junk. <laughs> Here's one shelf that I have stuff on. Let me check behind the door. Did I put something? Nope, that's not Halloween. Okay. This, I was just playing around, and I just made a box. This is a styrofoam box, so I put a different piece on each side. Just something to do weird. I try to do different things. Uh, that fabric was dyed by Joni's Fabrics. The one with the paw prints. And there's the boo. And let's go over to my trick or treat pumpkin. And then we have, let's see if we can do a full shot of this wall. I have to go back to the door. And there's the wall. I actually painted the walls with the stripes. My husband gave me his laser level, showed me how to use it. And while he was at work one day, I decided, okay, let's do something different in this room. This is our junk room. This is where my mom used to stay when she lived with us when she got sick. So it's not just a junk room. Here's Halloween. I added the little rickrack around the side. Looks like lights. This is from one of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween magazines. Added a daisy for a little bit of color with the black bowl. Another Just Cross Stitch. And this says Happy Halloween. And then I painted different houses black and added that as a little addition. And we have the witch. Added a bowl and a striped pumpkin. Another big pumpkin. Love how that turned out. And then we have that one. That's the long one. I didn't know how to finish it, so that was one I had to decide on. I did backstitch the ghosts just so you could see them. It was hard to see them when you didn't backstitch it, so I went ahead and backstitch that. Okay, so let's go. There's our little Coco. We, we lost it right when we lost my mom. Here's a little hanging pillow that I made. Hocus Pocus. And then that's the backing fabric. Yes, I decorate the doorknobs. Here we have October. And some of the pillows, I did an envelope back. And this one I added a button, instead of cutting in, easy to make. I make my own inside pillows. Okay, so then we will go to the hallway. This is the other end of the hallway, right outside of the bathroom. I moved the two side pictures that are framed out of the bathroom because I had added a few new Halloween projects, another heart related. Bought this at a Cover Bridge Festival at one of the the side, uh, one of the side places. So yeah, so there's that. Added some stuff and then we go over to this small wall and I added two small pieces. I really like that one too with the little black crow. And then we have this one. And then we go into our office and there's another that's a Stony Creek. Then on my desk, I have it decorated with pillows and an easel that I received from a stitching friend. So yes, I decorated this whole shelf. There's our Java. There's our Mocha. I got those actually as a surprise gift from Chewy. We got a package one day and it's like, I don't remember ordering anything from Chewy. They saw the picture that I uploaded to their site of them, and they hand, one of the girls that works there hand-painted those. Can you believe that? Here's a few more over here. This is just, I, I stained this on a board. Looks like a little jar. And it just sits right there. I love it. So yeah, some of these, this is a stand-up right here, an easel. I call it an easel. Spooky, one of my bib pillows that I stitched. 
Okay, so that's it for the office. So yeah, I tried to put something in each room if I could. Let's go to the bathroom. Yes, I decorate our bathroom. These are the two new pieces this year. Woohoo! Loved how these turned out. Welcome to my ghoul gardens. And then we have, I need to fix that a little bit. Working with striped fabric in the back just doesn't work. Uh, these three pieces, uh, the middle one was painted by my mom, ceramics. We used to do craft shows and do ceramics and plaster. The two end pieces, there are more for Halloween, but they've broken. And then my mom painted that one. I tried to save a few. So let's see, let's go into our bedroom. I made the bed. There's Freddy Cat. Whoops, sorry. Then we have, we go up here to the dresser. And I've got the dresser decorated. There's an easel. And brew some fun. And this is just a styrofoam piece. And then I decorated the back. Another easel. And then Halloween. Painted and then I sponged the, the edges. Then this black shelf it has been staying in our bedroom because there's no room in the living room. And this is just like a, I guess you call it a shadow box. There, let's fix the ribbon. Loved how that turned out too. And my big pillow and then my huge pillow. Sorry about the darkness, the light doesn't show there. Then we go to the dresser. Now these, these are all on the styrofoam boxes. Now what I did was that I did a double sided cross stitch for some of them. Oh, sorry, my leg's hurting. Then we have a pillow. I have shelves for my dresser, the top of the dresser. So I love decorating those in Mr. Pumpkin Phil. Got that at a craft show. Then we have the pillows, the boxes, a house. And we have the bat, another house. Eek! This is a easel stand up. And I think that is thread that I actually dyed myself. Then we have brew. And then you turn it around and we have treats. So every once in a while I'll come in here and switch them around. And we have that one. Welcome. That's a house painted. And then we have the Halloween pillow. Have a wicked Halloween. Boo. And then we have spooky. And that one's plain. It doesn't have a back. Yeah, using the uh, styrofoam boxes, they're very easy to work with. Here's two wall hangings. I added the Hocus Pocus switch on the right. I needed wall space, so that's where I put it. Uh, this is actually magnetized. I think I got this either at, I want to say Joanne Fabrics, I think I bought that at. And those come with a magnet. And then we have another house. Pumpkins and bats on Halloween night with witches and cats give, give mortals a fright. I thought that turned out cute. So I am going to try to walk over here in between the bed and the window. This old lady can't do this. Here's the witch's bookshelf. Thought that turned out really cute. And then this wall is something that I added this year. These two I added this year. I needed space. Again, this is another magnetized cat. He's magnetized on there. So I added that. And then we have Halloween sugar stitches. And then we have, let's go this way. Let's do Happy Halloween. Small shelf that we got at Cover Bridge Festival when we first got married, heart shaped. Loved stitching on the black fabric for that one, for the Halloween one. Again, these round pieces, styrofoam. I tried it, I liked it. it they actually turned out really cute. So then we will go, and voila, this is, this is um, thread that I dyed myself, the floss I dyed myself. Uh, I love my purples, it goes good with the green, 
and I actually ran out of floss about three quarters of the way through, so I had to dye some more, and it actually matched perfectly. I couldn't believe it. You know how dye lots are. Okay, I will pause here. I will stop and start again, and we will go into the living room. I am back, and we are now in the living room. This sits on one of the main walls. Love how this turned out. Painted the frame, and then I sponged it. And those little pieces that you see on each side, they're little wooden pieces. I get sets of these pieces on Amazon, paint them, decorate them, spray glaze them. I love those little wooden pieces. Then I forgot to turn on the lights for the tree. I'll leave them on just for a second. Sorry about this. And there is my Halloween tree. I just went downstairs for laundry and I'm out of breath. So yeah, so we have a black tree that I leave up and I decorate for each holiday. That is a tablecloth. We no longer have a round table, so I just use it for a tree thing. Whatever you want to call it. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the hat I bought at Joanne Fabrics a couple years ago is on sale. Uh, I will turn off the lights so we can see the ornaments better, so I apologize for this part. There we go. Now I can sit and rest. So here are some of the ornaments. I use a lot of the, the wooden frames. Again, Amazon is great for finding stuff. You can get like 50 to 100 of these. You paint them, decorate them, whatever way you want. Added ribbon to that one. So these are the different ornaments. I have plenty of room to make more. These two, they're from a favorite uh, crafter at a craft show that they have in December. I love how they make their stuff. Uh, this one is actually double-sided, but I like that side. And then we have Mr. Dracula. Blue house. Again, wooden pieces, and then I add my piece to a foam core board with uh, batting behind it first. Pillow. I gotta stand up so we can social more. Added a bat and flowers to this one. And a spider. Mr. Werewolf. I do need, I do have a whole bunch of small finishes in the basement that I can finish into ornaments. Sorry if they're shadows. So yeah, so that's our tree. And then we have a shelf that hangs right next to it. And the shelf came from my sister-in-law. And of course it's got the hearts. Then, little rocking chair I bought at one of the craft shows, and I fill it with different things. And, of course, Mocha likes one of those bears. I don't know why. Then we have this decorated. I made the table runner. Here's a stand-up pumpkin that I painted, and then I added my cross-stitch piece that I bought at a craft show. Uh, for the easel stand-ups flat folds, I actually did this double-sided so I can change them every now and then so I don't get bored looking at everything love making easels Sue Hillis has the best instruction booklet if you if you don't like to watch videos then we have the front door and I added this piece to this wall first time this year sorry about the shadow because of the lighting door hanger and then I added this to over here here let's try to stand in the front and we can see it this actually came from a booklet that has a haunted house that I want to stitch, and I don't know if I still have the booklet. And then we have another shelf, Hearts. Got that at Cover Bridge Festival years ago when we first got married. And this piece says Halloween, and that's by the same people that painted those ornaments. And these were like 50 cents each. I couldn't pass them up. Emma Goner. Dug a Grave, Justin Coffin, Icy Cold, and Are You Dead? I thought that was so cute. Styrofoam box, uh, tuck pillow that I made, worked out perfect for my spider. Happy Halloween. Oops, lost the lighting, there we go. Sorry, I have the curtains closed. Excuse all the blankets, they love their blankets. Here's our Mocha and Java. I don't think Mocha feels good table runner that I made for a big table. Another table runner. And here's a bench that I kept from my mom's house. 
and this is the corner for our scarecrows. Made the table on her, and I sat two scarecrows on top. Sorry, the lighting's not the best. And that afghan that you see on the back, I actually crocheted that when I was about eight years old. I hung out with a, a girl that lived about four houses down, and she crocheted, and her mother was a crocheter and knitter, so they taught me how to crochet, and I made that. Picked out my own yarn. My mom let me pick out my own yarn. So I'm glad I was able to find that and save it. Then we have this piece with the cats. And then Kitty Corner, this is the wall with my beady babies for Halloween. Again, a heart theme. It didn't start out that way, but as you keep finding them, and this is Town of Halloween. Then we go over to the last wall in the living room. Sorry about the lamp. Another cute one with the houses. I painted the outside. Here, let's see, can we move this? Yeah, it's hard to see, I apologize. The outside of the frame is purple, the inside is a green, and then I added the little baubles and stuff around the edge. And then we have the stair step shelf here. With my Beanie Babies, I decorate that for each holiday. And then for this one, I stained the piece of wood. It was one of the first pieces that I stained. And then these three little pieces, I just uh, individually put them on core board and put it on that. So yeah, that turned out pretty cute. So those are our Halloween decorations. I have a lot more to add. I've got more finishes in the basement that I need to do. So thank you for taking the tour of our house. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.